RIX is an R package that allows you to build completely reproducible per project development environments. This is something that is missing in the R ecosystem currently. If you need per project development environments, you usually have to use a combination of RENV and Docker. If you just use RENV, you will, ha you will have per project libraries of packages, but you won't have R interpreters that are dedicated to certain projects. With RIX, you can generate so-called Nix expressions, and these expressions can then be used by the Nix package manager to build reproducible development environments on a per-project basis. This means that for one project you can have R 4.3.3, for example, and for another project you can have R 4.4.1. Let's suppose that I have an idea for a project and I have this script here called generate env.r. Let's look into it. Now this is a script that calls the rix package and then has uh, shows here a call to the rix function. It says here that I want this version of r and I want these packages and I would like also to use rstudio for this project. Now. On this computer here, I don't have R installed. If I try to run R, as you see, I am invited by my operating system to install R. I don't have it. Now, what I do have is the Nix package manager that I already have installed. So, what I can do now is use this package manager, Nix, to generate an environment with R and with Rix, and then I can run this expression to generate a new environment that contains the packages that I need. So essentially I am bootstrapping a complete environment that helps me get started. So how do I do that? Well, we have this command here that you can find in the readme of Rix that you can run in a terminal, be it Mac, Linux or WSL if you're using Windows. By running this you will be dropped in a so-called temporary Nix shell. This temporary Nix shell gives you access to R and to Rix. So let's run it. Now I am in the Nix shell. I have access to a version of R, as you can see, this version here is in the Nix store. And it's version R4.3.1 because this is the one that is defined with that temporary shell. Now what I can do is I can start R and I can start or I don't even need to do that because my script already loads Rix so I can just source it. I can source my script and I have all these messages here that explain to you what happened. But it's essentially what happened is that I now have this default.nix file which is new. It wasn't there before and if I look I also have an R profile file that is hidden because it starts with a dot. This R profile file makes sure that this environment that is only there for this particular project does not interfere with environments from other projects. Now, this default.nix file, I don't even need to look at it, but this file essentially defines an, an a development environment that will install the version of R that is defined here. So it will install this version of R and it will install these packages and it will install RStudio. So let's see how we can use that. To use this environment I simply need to type nix shell. This will start this development shell with the packages defined in the default.nix file. So in this case I will have R4.3.3 and I will have RStudio available as well. This is an older version of RStudio because this was the version of RStudio that was available at the time of this release of R. Starting RStudio, I can see that I have indeed access to 4.3.3 and I have access to dplyr and to ggplot. You can use Rix even if you don't have Nix installed, but in this case you can only generate expressions. But these expressions can then be used on another system that has Nix installed. 
they can be used on GitHub Actions as well to run tests, to run your code, to do whatever you need to do in a reproducible manner. You can use Nix environments to develop interactively with our studio like here or with another IDE. You can use Nix environments to run Shiny apps, to run target pipelines, to run Plumber APIs, whatever you need. You can replace essentially using Nix and Rix, Docker and RNF. But if you are already invested in the Docker environment and ecosystem, you can also use Nix inside of Docker to get the environment that you need inside of Docker images. Well, if this piqued your interest, we invite you to read all the documentation on our website and I hope that you will find Rix and Nix useful.